Welcome to this video on using the AuthentDesign program with Accelerate. AuthentDesign is an electronic signature service that enables multiple parties to legally sign documents through a secure online connection. This video will provide details on how to use the AuthentDesign option in Accelerate. If you have not already signed up for the service, please review the video on how to subscribe to the AuthentDesign service. Upon completion of this lesson you will be able to access AuthentDesign in Accelerate, use the AuthentDesign program, and sign out. You will now watch a demonstration of how to use AuthentDesign in Accelerate. Once you have created a new transaction, or completed filling out a form in Accelerate, enter the AuthentDesign program by clicking on one of several buttons. The first button is located next to the transaction or form on the dashboard under Recent Activities in the eSign column. If the document is a transaction, you will be taken to the print, email, fax, and eSign page in Accelerate. Now click the Initiate eSign button at the bottom of the page. A new browser window will open and display the AuthentDesign page. The second way to get to AuthentDesign from Accelerate is by clicking on the AuthentDesign Home button on the dashboard found at the bottom of the navigation bar. However, if you use this button, you will have to manually load the forms into the AuthentDesign program. They will not be automatically pulled from Accelerate. Once you are on the AuthentDesign page, you can start the signing wizard process. A signing name is required. This is displayed at the top of the page. You can accept the default name in the field or enter a custom name. Now, you need to decide if you want to have the document signed in line or sign you'll signed. If you select that the documents are to be signed in line, each signer will receive access to the document in the order you select in the signing wizard. This means as the first person completes their signing, the second person will then receive the email with the documents for them to sign. This process will continue until the final person has received the documents. If you select to have the forms signed you'll signed, then all of the signers will receive the documents at the same time and they can then sign them. Beneath the participant order is an expiration date field and an additional comments field. These are both optional fields and don't have to be filled out in order to complete the process. Once this page is complete, click the blue next arrow at the top right of the page to continue. The page will refresh, and you will be on the Add Participants page. Click the Add New Participant button, in the middle of the page. A window will then open, and display the required fields. Enter the first name, last name, and the email address of the first participant. Now, select the status of the participant by clicking the radio button, next to, is signer, is reviewer, or CC only. Finally, select the type of signer from the drop-down box in the type field. Once you have completed filling out the fields, click the Add Participant Now button. The participant will then be added to the list on the page. Repeat this process to add additional participants to the list. If you need to remove any of the participants, click the orange delete button to the right of the name to be deleted. Once this page is complete, click the blue next arrow at the top right of the page. The page will refresh and you will be on the add documents page. All of the existing documents in the eSign packet will be displayed on this page. You can add additional documents by clicking either the Upload a File or Upload an Email buttons at the top of the page. You can also change the order of the documents by clicking on the green arrows next to the document to move it up or down on the list. 
As you modify the order of the document, the order number will change in the field next to the form. Once you have completed changing the order of the documents, click the Update Order link at the bottom of the page. Once this page is complete, click the blue next arrow at the top right of the page. The page will refresh and the Prepare Documents page is shown. All of your documents will be displayed in thumbnail form, down the left side of the page. The first document will be displayed in the center of the page. On the right column, you will see drag and drop blocks for signatures, initials, and various other options. Find a location on the page that needs to be signed or initialed. Select the person you want to sign or initial that page by clicking on their name at the top of the right column. Now place your cursor over the corresponding block that you need for that page. Hold down your left mouse button, and then drag the corresponding block to the location on the page that needs to be signed or initialed. Once you have placed the block on the correct location on the page, release your left mouse button. This will place the block into the location. Repeat this process for any other location on this page. Make sure to highlight the correct person for the block by clicking on their name at the top right column, before you drag and drop the block. After you have completed this page, click the next page on the left column to display that page so it can then be worked on. Repeat the dragging and dropping process for the next page that needs signatures or initials. Continue with the dragging and dropping of signatures and initials for the rest of the pages. If you need to move the location of the caption arrow that comes with some of the blocks, or delete the block, right-click your mouse to display a menu that allows you to move the caption arrow to another location or delete the block. Once you have completed setting up all of the documents for signing, click the blue next arrow at the top right of the page to continue. The page will refresh and you will be on the Review and Sent page. This page allows you to finalize the signing details and send the documents to the signers. Once you have reviewed everything, click the Finalize Details and Send to Signers button, at the top of the page to email that documents. A window will display, and ask if you are ready to send the documents. Click Finalize and Send Invitations to complete the process. An email will be sent to each of the participants, that will contain instructions on how they are to electronically sign the documents. The page will refresh and you will be on the Authentisign home page that displays all of your documents that have been created for e-signing and the status of each. You can continue the signing wizard for any documents that you haven't completed the signing process for from this page. As each participant completes their signing, you will receive an email from Authentisign telling you their documents have been signed. Once you have finished, you can log out of the Authentisign program by clicking the Logout link in the upper right hand corner of the page. This concludes this presentation on using the Authentisign program with Accelerate. Additional training videos on this and other topics are on the Longham Foster Cafe. We thank you for viewing this video.